Well, the question I got asked is uh, in regards to having two different Google accounts and having contacts in two different Google accounts and wanted to know, A, how to be able to get to them across two different Google accounts, and secondly, how to uh, put them all into one. So I'm going to speak to that and show you how to do that. But before I do, hit that subscribe and notify button because I create all of this content for you. So here's one of my test accounts I have. And you can see it has three Google, uh, three contacts in it. And it's at contacts.google.com. Let me go to another one. Hang on a second. Let me set it up. Here's my other test account. And you can see it's got 13 different contacts in here. Um, and again, these are all testing fake uh, email accounts for just for testing purposes. So the point is, first question is, how do I get to them? So if you are using a web browser, you can do exactly what I'm doing right here right now. That is to simply log into Google Chrome with your email address associated with that Google account where your contacts are. And then go to, again, contacts.google.com right here. That's step number one. And by the way, you can create another profile and you can open up another profile exactly like I'm doing right here. Let me do that. And you can log into a different Google account in a different Chrome profile, and again, go to contacts.google.com and see those contacts. So in a web browser, it's pretty easy. You just log into Google Chrome, use a different profile for each account, and go to contacts.google.com to see them. See them. On a smartphone device or an uh, iPad, iPhone, Android, or whatever uh, device you have, there's a couple different ways to get to these uh, Google contacts. Number one, if you're using the Gmail app and you're logging into both Google accounts, you can switch back and forth, then in Gmail, you're gonna be able to see your Google contacts. Secondly, if you are have these two accounts logged in to your smart device, iPhone lets you log into Google, uh, Google.com. I'm sure, I'm sure the Android will know it allow, allow you to log into Google.com with that email address. But if you can log into both of them, you should be able to switch back and forth with the smartphone devices contacts to be able to see the different contacts in them. Now, also on the smart device or iPhone or iPad, or Android phone, etc., etc., you can always log in to Chrome of uh, the browser and log in with the different Google accounts to be able to see, again, contacts.google.com. So the next part of the question is, how can I get them all in one, one Google account? Now, what I recommend you do is you take the Google contacts out of your least used Google account, and you import those Google contacts into your most important Google account. Now, here's how you do that. From, from the web browser, which is the easiest place to do this, contacts.google.com, left-hand column here, you'll see export. Hit export, and you can see it's going to say, you know, I can, I can export different uh, groups. I can export all, all the contacts, the ones that are labeled. Uh, there's different ways of selecting them here. I recommend uh, choose the best option for you. And if you've already, if you have selected them, then you'll see the export out the selected ones. Also recommend you export as a Google CSV and you hit export. Now there the file is there. Here's my test file. Now let me go to my primary Google account and show you how to import these. Go to profiles, go to my primary one. And you'll see, I again, I have 13 uh, contacts in here. Now I'm gonna import, go to import, select the file. Go find the file, there it is right there, and hit open. And then hit import. Now, the, what Google's gonna do is when you import them, it's gonna say, do you wanna look for duplicates, yes or no? I'm gonna say dismiss. And there's two things you'll see. Number one, you'll see this labeled where I imported them on today, 10 to uh, 1024. But you'll also see that they are in my overall contacts. Here they are right here. Okay. So you can see that they are in there. Now, if I want to, I can leave this label or I can get rid of it. And if you look over here on the right, you'll see when I get rid of it, delete, keep all contacts and delete the label. So you can see that the label's gone over here. I can do this again, delete this one here, keep all contacts and delete the label. 
So now you can see if I go back to contacts on the right hand side, you won't see that label for this import. That's the basic steps. Export them out of one con uh, Google contact file and import them into the second. I'm Teddy, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist, trainer, and coach. I hope this is helpful for you.